Hey everybody, it's Marvin from Wiscoat. I'm standing behind our seal coating unit, uh, the Duramax one, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how we winterize uh, our stuff. So, I didn't make a video of it. Um, I guess if I would have been asked the questions before I broke everything down, I would have. But, what we usually do is break everything down. Um, I just do it, I don't like to leave everything together. It gets pretty darn cold here in Wisconsin, so I don't like to risk it. Um, so I break everything down. I take everything apart, clean the tank out, um, and then the only thing I'm really super worried about is <clears throat> my compressor, which we put a little stay bill in, and I just put it into uh, storage. And then the other thing is our Wilden pump. I'm walking towards the house because I kind of like to take care of my diaphragm pumps. We have two pumps. Um, one was an Aero, which I bought not this past season, but the season before is one. In, <clears throat> excuse me, is a one-inch Aero, and then the other one is the Wilden. Um, I'm going to take you into the house now and kind of explain what I do with our diaphragm pumps. So we're in the basement of my house. Um, down here, uh, what I usually do when I break the outfit down is I'll take the two pumps, we'll drain all the sealer out of it, then rinse it out with water uh, as good as we can until I'm seeing clear water on both ends of the diaphragm pump. So here's two of our pumps. This one right here is the Aero 1 inch, and this one is the Wilden that we got from Seal Right. Um, it's the best pump I've ever bought. We didn't have any issues with it. Um, it was perfect. Didn't stutter, didn't do anything. If you're looking for a pump, I highly recommend going to Seal Right and, uh, and seeing about this Wilden. Um, it was well worth it for what I spent on it. I know there's a lot of pumps out there, you know, and a few big brands, but I haven't had any issues and it worked great. That's all I care about when we're in the season and we're running like crazy. So they have an outlet port and an inlet port at the bottom. Both pumps do. I'll rinse the top out, rinse the bottom out, rinse all everything I can out, and then what I do is take these plastic plugs, like this one here and this one here, and I put one in the bottom of each side. Um, and then I, what I'll actually do is I'll fill the bottom part with water, take the plug, put a little bit of RV antifreeze in there. We keep them inside, so I'm not too worried about it, but it's just a safety thing for me, I guess. You could completely fill it with RV antifreeze and keep it outside of your house, I would say, and you'd probably be okay. Um, I don't know the implications of that because I've just been paranoid about it and I always keep them in my basement. So you fill the bottom with water, a little bit of RV antifreeze, put the plug in, flip the pump over, fill the top with water and a little bit of RV antifreeze. I'm worried that if I don't fill it with water that some of that stuff that's in there could get hard and uh, and turn into a problem, whether it's a ceiling problem or a leaking problem. And then I don't want to have to deal with that. So uh, I don't want to have to break that thing down just because the balls that are in there are sticking or anything like that. So that's what I do. I fill the top, put the cap on it, bring them inside the house, let them sit all winter, in the summer, in the springtime when we're ready to roll again, take them out, drain everything out of it, rinse it out with water again, um, <clears throat> hook it up to our seal coat unit when we're ready to go. I usually don't do it before we're ready to go. Um, so I'll hook it up to the seal coat unit, fill it with water a little bit again on both sides, and hook it up and get ready to go. Um, that way when we go to fill up with sealer, we're able just to pump. There won't be any priming or anything like that. Um, not that I think it needs it, but uh, then we're just in system and ready to go. So that's how I winterize everything and keep it intact. I know a lot of people have been asking me that, so I figured I would make a video about that for that um, here on the YouTube channel. So um, I appreciate it. Thanks again, as always, for watching the channel. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, you guys know how to get a hold of me. All the links to everything I do is in the description above and below on this video. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Seal the deal. We'll talk to you guys later.